Yo, tipping culture is completely out of control in America. You can't go anywhere anymore and be offered any service without people expecting a tip or them sliding that little screen over and where it says, would you like to leave a tip? Because they think they're slick, right? They won't, put a, they won't put a tip jar and the person won't ask for it and it won't be on the receipt. They ask you digitally now, would you like to leave a tip? And it's like a tip for what? For you handing me a coffee? You didn't make it. This is what you did. Put it in the machine, click the button, coffee fell, put a lid, and gave it to me. I shouldn't be tipping for that. I should not be tipping for that. Like, you're getting paid. You know what I'm saying? And this is coming from somebody who is a good tipper. The broski is a good tipper. But you can both be a good tipper and at the same time admit that tipping is completely out of control. Today's video, there's this chick, a bartender, and she's going berserk on a guy for covering the tab for him and his buddies. And for whatever reason, she felt like the tip wasn't enough. I felt like it was a very generous tip, right, for what she did. I mean, pouring a drink in a cup ain't nothing crazy. Like, you ain't over there, man, shaking the cup, making a spin, you know, lighting some shit on fire, you know, doing the dragon breath. You ain't doing none of that. All you're doing is putting a drink in a cup and passing it to the guys. Let's look at the video. This is a PSA for anybody that likes to pay for the group tab and act like a baller. Don't pay the fucking tab if you can't tip accordingly. I'm like, okay, so are we splitting the check? What are, how are we doing this? He's like, oh, no, 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 I'll take it, I'll take it. When she started talking, I'm thinking this is gonna be like at least two to $300 bill. Listen to this, people. Like, oh, really? Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. $50 and you leave $5? And I gave you refills and you didn't even ask. Fuck off. <laughs> Lady, $50 and he left you $5. What's that? A 10% tip? Let's do the math on this. The broski is not a mathematician, right? What's 10% of $50? I'm talking to Google right now. The answer is $5. United States they gave you a 10% tip for pouring drinks into a cup. 10% you got for that. 10% of their hard-earned money. And you will be here cursing them now because the place of business that you work for are not compensating you properly yo it should be illegal for restaurants all over america and bars to be forcing their customers to pay their employees wages imagine you operating a business right where i go <laughs> right to get a service right so i'm paying for the service and then i have to pay for your employee like, that to me is a wild idea. And I didn't even know. I thought everywhere it was like this, right? Once you leave the United States of America, that's a wild idea, especially over in the European countries. You know what I'm saying? But it's like paying for your employees while I'm also paying for the food. And it's not cheap for the drinks. And they're not cheap. Because I would understand if the food and drinks were cheap in most places and you expect a good tip so it can go down to the server, no problem, right? No problem, because at this point, that's a fair deal, I feel. I'm getting cheap food and cheap drinks. You know what? Let me take care of the server. You know what I'm saying? I know they don't get paid much. But for you to expect a more than 10% tip for serving people drinks, to me, it's insane. There's no food. Like, you don't even got to remember everything. You, you're not sitting at a table with 10 people. You got to write down everybody's order, where everybody's sitting down, drinks, appetizers, desserts. Like, you ain't doing all that. And even those people are getting 15 to 20%. And they're actually working. They're working a lot. I, yo, I'd be shocked how balanced these people are, bro. Walking around with a bunch of plates and stuff all over the place. Come on, you got a plate. You got a plate. Everybody got a plate. I'm like, damn, how they doing that, man? I would have dropped it. I would have dropped it. I would have went back. Yo, I could never do a server, man. When I was coming up, I never looked for server jobs because I don't trust my memory. I don't trust it. I'm going to go over there, right? Ask everybody what they want. By the time I get to the back, I'm like, fuck. Who ordered what? I'm going to have this little notepad over here with a bunch of orders on it. And I don't know who they belong to. I'm like, damn, this is going to be embarrassing. I'm going to have to go back over and ask, oh, who, who ordered what? Was this your? It's going to be confusing. I'm not, I wouldn't get tipped. They would not tip me. You know what I'm saying? Broski knows himself. So I never look for those jobs because I just can't trust my memory. I'm not good up here. I'm not good at memorizing things. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to the back. Then they're, they're going to ask for steak, medium rare. I'm like, ew, who eats that? Well done. What are you, an animal? I'm going to come up here. Excuse me, I asked for medium rare. I'm like, yeah, yeah, but you're not an animal. You're a human being. Well done. What's wrong with you? We cook our food over here, man. What the hell is wrong with you? You see, the broski will be telling people how to eat. I can't see people order some nonsense and just let it rock. It's just not happening. Some people don't even want to stay cooked. What are you, an animal? You're an animal at that point. Protein was made to be eaten 
well cooked. For those of you who don't know. And for those of you out there eating sushi, you're nasty. You're nasty. You ain't supposed to be eating raw fish, right? Now, the broski likes an avocado roll. It's just avocado rice. Dip it in some eel sauce. I like the sweet potato roll even better, though. Dip it in some eel sauce, right? Like a decent human being. I'm not eating no fish raw. I never eat fish raw. You know how many parasites fish got? That's what I seen on the internet. You people are going to the gas station and getting sushi. You're nasty. Cook your food, people. That's the message of the day. And for all you bartenders out there, man, and you ungrateful people who are getting tipped 10% for no reason for doing your job, I didn't hire you. You don't work for me. If I give you 10%, be happy. Broski go to the gas station the other day, right? Light burned out. Guy's changing it. I pay for the light bulb already. Talking about you ain't going to tip me, right? Now, the broski had a decision to make here. Do I tip him and go away because he's pressing me about it, right? Or do I be like, no, and drive away and be an asshole? Or do I take this as an opportunity to tip him and deliver a message before I give him the tip? That's what the broski did. The broski did. Listen, I'm going to tell you something, my man. You and I, we the same. We both broke. We both work for money. I'm going to give you this tip today, but don't expect it in the future. You know what I'm saying? I'm not driving in here with a Range Rover, right? I ain't driving here in a $150,000 car. You don't work for me. You work for them. I already paid for what I was getting. You know what I'm saying? Now, I could have done it myself. I could have done it myself. But why would I do that? What am I? But anyways, people, man, if you're out there and somebody provides you with a good experience, yeah, tip them. Tip them well. There's no doubt about that. But if you don't got it, yeah, don't feel bad not tipping. You pay for your food. Peace.